Now an orbiting object, like for example the space shuttle, must eventually return to Earth. So this process is called deorbiting. We're going from orbit and we're leaving it. So unlike orbital decay, this is an intentional process, not a sort of accidental and unwanted process. So we need to be able to control this so that the effects of uh, orbital decay on satellites aren't applied to the manned spacecraft that we want to save. So a deorbiting spacecraft uh, will first fire its engines in the opposite direction to the direction in which it's moving, right? This means that it slows itself down so that it's too slow to be moving in a circle anymore. So it will start to follow an elliptic trajectory, right? And that will take it closer to the Earth. Right, so it follows an elliptical path that will meet the Earth's atmosphere. Once we're at the Earth's atmosphere, we're starting uh, experiencing increased amounts of drag. That's right. So the spacecraft has to enter the atmosphere at a very, very precise angle. And we first start worrying about the atmosphere when we reach an altitude of about 120 kilometers. So how does the angle affect what happens to the deorbiting spacecraft? Well, if we enter it at a very shallow angle, then we won't slow down enough for re-entry. We'll actually experience a sort of lift as we go closer to the Earth. So we'll skip off the Earth's atmosphere and sort of have to go around again to try and re-enter again. So this is not an ideal angle. If, on the other hand, we try to enter too steeply, we will encounter an enormous amount of air resistance and that will produce a large amount of g-force and a large amount of heat. And so this heat tends to be hot enough to completely disintegrate the spacecraft and any crew that may be on board. So manned spacecraft enter the atmosphere at a very, very precise optimum angle, right, to prevent either of these two scenarios from happening. The Apollo command modules had an optimum angle of between about 5 degrees and 7 degrees to the horizontal. So we can see that uh, we're pretty close to horizontal as we begin re-entry. But in fact, for the space shuttle, it was even shallower. The space shuttle re-entered between about 1 degrees and 2 degrees from the horizontal. And so it took uh, a longer time to get through the atmosphere.